Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Brushcraft. Uh, thank you for watching our video. Today I'm going to look at uh, stinging nettles for cordage. There's an optimum time for collecting your stinging nettles and now, so this is the end of May, this is seeming to be about it. We've got a couple of a couple of months where that sort of we've got that optimum window open. So what do I mean by that? There's probably two things that come into play. So one is how tall the, the nettle is and secondly it's around how easy it is to separate out the the outer fibres from the inner woody pithy bit. So clearly earlier in the year, so these th they start growing, I don't know, uh, sort of early March. Uh, at that time, clearly they're very tiny. The longer we leave it into the year, the taller they're going to get. So if we were here in September, they might be right up here. However, in the so in that early part of the year, it's really easy to peel away the outer fibres from the inner woody bit. Whereas the longer we leave it in the year, the more difficult that becomes. So in sort of say say April, it would have been really easy to separate out the inner and outer part of the nettles, but they wouldn't have been very tall. We leave it until September, October time, they're going to be really tall, but it's pretty difficult to separate that inner and outer part. Whereas now, sort of this sort of middle of May, June, July, um, they're of a reasonable height, as you can see by these ones next to me, uh, and it is really pretty straightforward to separate that inner and outer part. Um, I also find that it's probably a little easier to do that separating bit uh, just after a rain as well. Uh, it seems to make it easier. So when it comes to collecting our nettles, uh, you don't have to, you can do it barehanded, it's going to work, but I do tend to put on a, a pair of gloves for it. And what we want to do with our nettles is leave the root in the ground. So I'm not just going to kind of yank it and pull the whole plant out. What I want to do is leave the root behind um, and there's a very good chance that the nettle will uh, regrow. So one option I have is to just get down to the base of the plant and give it a, a little snap there and out it comes. Another option would be just to, to use my knife and cut down through like so. As I say, the important bit is to try and to leave the root in the ground. So I'm going to collect, there's a nice little patch here, so I'm going to take maybe 10, 12 or so of them at the moment. got a bunch of nettles here so next up I am going to strip off the leaves so I'm just going to do those one at a time put those down now and then to, I'm holding it at the bottom of the nettle and what I'm going to do is run that so I'm going to pull it through this sort of L-shaped part on my right hand like so like that and I, just, I only want to go in this one direction so just from the bottom to the top now I got most of them off that way now I'm just going to pull off any remaining bits of leaf and stem it's important that you run your hand along the whole length of the nettle the stings are all the way along the stem and so if you just pull off the leaves you will leave the plenty of sting along it so, so that way just give it a couple of goes like that just to make sure that you get all of the nettles all of the leaves off the thing so again I'm just going to start at the bottom and pull it through like so and then just take off the stems there so uh, next one again from the bottom to the top 
and then put it through. When we're when you're doing this preparation, it's important to be as kind of careful about it as you can be. The quality of our finished cordage is by and large going to depend upon the quality of our preparation. So if you damage the plant at this stage, or at any stage in fact, then you will make build weakness into your cordage essentially. So be, so be careful that we're that we keep the plant in one piece. So try not to break the this main stem at all. Like so let me just uh, finish the rest of these, and then I'll kind of show you the next stage. I've stripped all the leaves off and moved over to a bench. I do find this next stage easier to do on a bench. And so what I'm going to do is just roll along the nettle here. And I've just got a stick to do that. I want to play, pay particular attention to these nodes. So the nodes are the bits where the, the leaves uh, were growing uh, out of. And I'm going to roll this again from the thick end, the bottom end of the of the stem, towards the top. So I'm just going to roll it along there. Like so all the way to the end, like that. Put that one to one side, and then on to our next one. So next one, and again, starting at the, the bottom of the nettle, and uh, just rolling along. Like so, and you can see it, it's actually starting to come undone already. So, now I've rolled it, what I can do is I'm going to get my, my thumbs into it. So down the bottom here, split, and I'm just going to follow this split all the way down. Like so. Uh, what I tend to do is keep my thumbs next to each other here. So as opposed to holding it down one end and then bringing my hand up, I tend to just keep them more or less in the same place. Right, so, so I've now got a nettle that is opened out. So I'm just, as I said, I'm getting my nails in here to split it, and then I'm just going to follow that right the way down the length of the nettle. Open back. That's so down its entire length. The next stage is to separate out this sort of inner pith from these outer fibres. So what I tend to do for that is snap them at the end. Like so and then that peels away these two things like so. Now what I can do is just follow this up the length of the nettle and again what I tend to do is keep my hands close together so I'm just peeling it off like so. I'm just following it the length of the way up. Now, and as I said earlier guys, what it's important that you try to get this off undamaged because the quality of your cord 
is going to be dependent on the quality of the fibres that you produce in the first place. So that's come off in, in one section. Now what I'm going to do is just split it down the middle, like so. And now I've got two lengths of fibres. So I'm just going to put those to one side and take a look at the next one. So again I'm just going to snap there just to get those fibres going and turn it around and then peel it away. So, and then take our fibres, divide that, and find the middle point more or less. Like so, just peel them apart. So we have two lots of fibres there. Just to show that uh, whole process again, once more from start to finish, so we take our roller, roll the length of the nettle, paying particular attention to the nodes, like so, thumbnails, going at the end here, to split the nettle down the centre keeping your hands in tight together like so back down to the bottom of the nettle just give it a quick snap there and then start to peel away these fibres, these outer fibres from the inner woody pith keep your hands close together So, and then get your fibres, divide them in, cut them in half, pull them in half I should say. So we get two different pieces of fibre. These bits, so these inner woody bits, um, if you wanted to keep these, put them somewhere so that they, they dry out, you can then bundle them up, like so, into a, a little faggot. Um, once these are burnt, they're particularly good for, um, for your fire lighting. So if, you've got, if you want to keep those, it would make some sense. So I'm just going to finish off doing the, the rest of these um, metals now, and then I will show you what we need to do next. So finished doing the separation, I've got the, so these are the, the inner bits that were left over. As I say, get those bundled up um, and dried out. These are for, these are some left over from um, last year actually, but they do make good, good fuel. Um, got those, um, here I have the, those separated out fibres. So what I'm going to do with these in a second is hang them up on a, a piece of cord just behind me. Uh, and I'm going to let them dry out overnight before I do anything else uh, with them. So that, so getting them to dry is a an important part of the process. So as I say, guys, the there there is that optimum period, at least in my view, of when uh, when it's an easy time to to separate them out. You can do this much later in the year. I've done this in October. Um, it just takes a little bit more care and perseverance to to strip them off, um, but it, it it can be it can be done. No, it's just a straightforward time to to get into it. So thank you for watching our video. Uh, hopefully you found it to be useful. Uh, make sure that you don't miss any of our future content by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, stay safe.